is to steal Curly's VIP. That's cool. So this is Deliver Us Mars. It's a sequel to Deliver Us the, uh, the Moon. It's a story of how there's a bit of an apocalypse. Um, and Earth is running out of energy. There was fusion reactors on the moon and I tried to solve it. And it concluded that I saved the moon or saved Earth in the short term. And now we're going to deliver Mars. Hi Tapa, welcome in. I'm glad you enjoyed Black Mesa. <gasps> For mankind. Armstrong's <laughs> line there always reminds me of the other astronaut. Hey. Do you guys know the clip where he goes hippity hoppity hippity yeah. hoppity? I finally managed to get you a new one. Yeah! Right, but before I give it to you, you have to promise to take better care of him. Okay. Better than the ones that you destroyed before. I promise. <laughs> a moon bear for my moon bear. Aww. I think I had any astronauts or space toys when I was a kid. Don't overdo it, honey. Must be a dinosaur. Never stop. Just pace yourself. No, I know, I know. I just lost track of time. Plus, the subject matter fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I had any space games or space <clears throat> toys. It was just dinos. Yes. Wait, it is Nile. Or sorry, Neil. Even Neil, newborn, right? Rogue. I think it is. It did sound like him now that you pointed that out, chat. You're absolutely right. Oh, wait, I get to play as a kid? Does that mean I don't get to go to space? How did I crouch? Alright. Look, it's Probius! It's Probius! From StarCraft. Yeah, so if anyone's interested in this game, I uh, highly recommend play Deliver Us the Moon. They do have a new game coming out, I believe. To, uh, they had a crowdfunder a while back uh, called Deliver Us Home. Oh! Moon Man Bundle Volume 1, Issue 1, for Crossing and Issue 2, First Contact. Ooh, First Contact! I just recently watched, like two days ago, three days ago, I watched uh, the Star Trek movie, First Contact. This is like the it is the sequel to Deliver Us the Moon. Yes, it is. It is this. This is the sequel. With the faith of the world at stake, a brave astronaut travels to the moon. Okay, I think this is the um, the story from the first game. So, if anyone wants a quick review, a quick wrap up, his mission: investigate the lunar colony's mystery radio of silence. On an abandoned space station, he finds clues that an old friend may still be alive on the lunar surface. Will the astronaut make it off the derelict space station and onto the moon? Stationed together at Copernicus Moon Hub, author Conrad van Scheijik and artist Amira Torker conceived Moon Man's suspenseful thriller using their surroundings as direct inspiration. your first comic thoughts on the big bang theory uh the tv show or the actual theory <laughs> have to ask about that just in case star bears wait that's just star wars hold up lads that's star wars <laughs> in bear version the TV show. Um, I watched it when I was really young, um, before I was even a physicist um, or doing a master's or a PhD. I thought it was good crack. I thought it was good fun. 
I don't have any bad commentary on it. Go swimming with Claire. Why don't? What if I don't want to swim? Ta tablet ID. Claire Janssen. Bear beats Battlestar Galactica. Deadline coming up. Finish your document. The trolley problem. Trolley problem? Darth Grizzly. <laughs> okay, start substituting all the Star Wars names with bear versions. For humanity. For the future. So just again a reminder, in the first game, the world was having an energy crisis. And so there was nuclear fusion reactors on the moon. This game is a sequel. It's called Deliver Us Mars. Um, they were only able to solve the energy crisis short term. So I guess there's some long term solution they have to cover. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh, lads. Oh, lads. Listen, listen. I would absolutely live in a cottage in the middle of nowhere if I had an internet. If I could just have internet connection, I would live in the middle of nowhere. That that would be ideal. That would be amazing. That and a remote job. Great property, just fifteen minutes from the new campus. We must have earned a free loyalty relocation at this point. <laughs> Lizzie, the, another one of these seasons, and this entire area will be a desert. Can we just hold off until the kids are done with school and? Actually, finish a residency for once. I'm just trying to keep us safe. Is the volume a bit too quiet? Honey, the kids have the dad that commutes to the moon. Safe. Maybe I can turn up the volume. I want to give them just a bit of love. No good. Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Mummies and daddies are allowed to do this. Breaking news is. Mummies and daddies are allowed to do that. Good to know, good to know. Colorado. Refugees. Weren't you going to go snorkeling with Claire? Okay, let's go, Tuffy. Spectacular dive, honey. Thanks. Ooh, interesting. Me turning off the news when the kids are about. <laughs> that was really smooth. Is that a it is Corpse. And he also voices another amazing character. Um if you guys like Resident Evil, he's Heisenberg. Yes. I know, Dad, don't worry. Oh, she's my Come sister. Okay, bye Dad. Love you. Get Did you play RE? I've played, yeah, I've played all the REs. I think. Um, I say I've played Code Veronica, but I watched a full playthrough of it many times, so I don't know if that counds. I used to write fan fiction when I was a kid. Snorkeling too. I was a tad bit obsessed. <laughs> no. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I was about to ask Code Veronica. Code Veronica is the one in. I didn't play. <gasps> oh god. Blech. Games should come with a warning. Dad? I'm going to get you out of the window. Come on. Dad? It's alright, I'm here. Hey, it's Probius! He was in the first game as well. I'm calling him Colin Probius. Wait, am I gonna play a child in this game? What's going on? Yeah, I can't unsee a stereo in here. Where's Moonbear? 
We don't have time for that now, darling. I won't mean that. Darling. I, I think it's somewhere in this room. Uh, be quick. Moonbear. Let's look for Moonbear. Can you call me darling again? That was really nice. <laughs> uh, everyone's gonna look really tall. Scripting. Request conditions have been met. MT MPT connection has been reestablished. Okay. Darling. He has such a lovely voice. An accent and everything. Found it. Great. Now, now come to me. I need your help, Moonbear. There's a button on the other side of the room. Okay. When it turns on. I need you to press it. Okay. 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 I can follow instructions. Now, Moonbear. Oh shit! Where's the button? Oh, over there! I found the button! I found the button! Nice. That's it. Okay. It's time to go. Are we winning High Burnt? I have no idea. We just started the game and I'm very confused. Follow Dad. That's my objective right now, to follow Dad. Stay low, darling. Don't let them see you. Oh. Don't let who see me? <gasps> Are those humans? Okay, let's go. This better not be Doom or something now. Okay, listen carefully, darling. In the room on the other side of the vent up there is Ace. Rose is Ace? Yes, we need to take him with us and get him back to her. Ace likes me best. After Rosa. Absolutely. That's why I need you to climb up there and call him over to you. Quietly. Okay? Okay. Are we on Mars? I mean, spoilers, I'm guessing we're going to Mars, but are we on Mars? This a group here. So they were all planning to abandon Earth? Let's tell the team we've got the Lunar Council AC in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. What's that Ace. accent? Ace. Didn't say moon. Did it say moon base? Hi. Follow me. Hi, Ace. Do you like violence? <laughs> Patience is true. We'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, look, we have two Probiuses now. Okay, which one's Probius? I guess this one will be Probius. What are you doing? ASC unit number 67354-N. Initiate transfer protocol. Luna are we Council kidnapping a Probius? Johansson, code 170544. Dad, Ace isn't like this. It's okay. He, he doesn't know we're taking him back to see Rosa. Isaac Johansson. We've got to hurry him. They're probably looking for us now. Dad, my legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll get. Doesn't look like I'm wearing a full, full spacesuit. It looks like just the inner layer, the coolant layer of a spacesuit. Oh, I'm not playing. Dad is carrying me. Dad didn't miss cardio. No, he didn't. Yes, it's working. Wait, why isn't Peter's door open? Come on, come on. Should I open the door for mom? Open the door for Claire. That's my objective. Wait. Do I have to? I need to get that door open. Follow me. Quick. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to open or not. Okay. 
I panicked. Dad! Wait! You're running too fast! I have shorter legs! This is shorter leg discrimination. I'm almost through. Come on. Help? Help? Yeah, I wonder if it's an actual game choice as well, Evercrow. Father. No! Asterion, don't leave me behind! Hey, we can call him Daddy. Just saying. <laughs> we have now logical and scientific reasoning behind it. Alert. Launch sequence initiated. Clear blast chamber. So, my father left me behind. Claire's not my mom. She's my sister, right? I think that was the Get beginning. The Wait, you played this game and you got zero achievements? How is that even possible? I loaded it and I got an achievement. <laughs> That's talent. Oh, shoot. Great emote herder. Do we have any rocket emotes? Anyone else follow some other science channels? Pew. And this is the hardest part about rocket launch. It's getting that rocket into space. After that, it's easy going. We use planetary stuff to pull us in. We got, we got, we got some, uh, we got some inertia happening. Life is good. One year is far too short a time to live among what? The same excellent and admirable hobbies. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. Gertie, thank you so much for gifting twenty-five gift subs. Holy smokes! You didn't need to. Thank you so much. And there, someone else just thanked. Oh, I got another achievement. Witness your father leaving without you. Um, I hope anyone and everyone who got a gift sub enjoys the beautiful tofu emotes created by Medjay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Gerchi. Oh my god, chat is moving so fast that it the scroll can't keep up. The automatic scroll. Thank you so much for the extensive support. Welcome in, JP. How you doing today? We're playing Deliver Us Mars in theme with all the Mars physics we did earlier for like three hours. Um, so yeah, hopefully there'll be some- Oh, starring! You guys. When was this game released? Like two years ago? Gertie is such a generous soul, absolutely. Such a kind soul. A wonderful streamer and a kind soul. Last year, oh, that soon. Hi, welcome in Dragon. 2023, not bad. It's a pretty new game, so. I played Deliver Us the Moon just at the beginning of this year. It was actually the 24 hour stream I did on New Year's Day. 2068 AD. 2068. How old will I be in 2068? Oh, I'd be very old. I'd be lucky to be alive. What do you think, Ayla? Reckon we'll get a few more months out of this relic? 
Yeah. <laughs> I love the robot. They were really cute in the first game as well. Probius is so cute. Okay, so we're on Earth, I think. That looked like our moon. Our Luna. If your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. No, I'm good. Besides, that wouldn't be much help anyway. You're so right. we're in a, a apocalyptic wouldn't. scenario on Earth where energy is a okay. huge problem. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That uh, yes, super my super brain. That still needs to be chaperoned to every MPT dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? <laughs> Speaking yeah, about yeah. age and admitting I'm, I'm old. Just have to cut out some phantom obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know the dish is ready to receive? I already did. Don't forget to hook the screen points back up to the receivers. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yes, sir. Yeah, but like with the way pensions are going, I'd be lucky to start my pension at 70. Right? Um cannot do that. Uh, fix the MPT dish. Clear the obstruction. I guess we go down the middle? With the way pensions are going now, and retirement age, we'd be very lucky to be retiring at 70. Isn't that right, guys? Do I go down here? The movement is quite smooth, actually, for the game. Bedtime for me. Drongo, thanks for me for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Good night, sleep tight, and make sure the bed bugs bite. What's that? I feel like whatever it is, it shouldn't be flowing through me. I'm no scientist, but... But... I don't think beams like that should be going through me. So the objective is to clear the obstruction. Oh, when I press it, I can... Oh, I can jump. Class. Okay, I thought the game was very linear, but it doesn't seem so bad. <gasps> I get a laser! Firing my lasers. Listen, listen, I've worked with lasers in the lab. We don't get to do this kind of stuff, I promise. <laughs> we All don't right, got this yet. Three points hooked up and then we're done. Uh, get them hooked up. Right tofu and metal. Phaser set to cut. <laughs> Phaser set to stun. Sorry. Um, objective. Hook up the MPT dish. I read it as empty. They don't make cool sounds. Yeah, unfortunately, we're really far away from, you know, um, Star Wars stuff. What are they called again? Sorry, I'm a Trekkie, not a Star Wars person. Um, what are they called again? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Those sounds. Hi, Dan, by the way. Welcome in. Lightsabers. That's the one. We're still quite far away, physics-wise, for those being possible. Um, one day, though, guys. One day. Swishy swords. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Swords. Am I traveling the right way? I'm surprised how smooth this game feels already, actually. Um, I remember getting a little bit frustrated with the first game because it was kind of clunky. But this feels quite smooth already. Why though, unless you're a Jedi? Well, I mean, we have, uh, what are those sports? Fencing, for example. Imagine instead of fencing, you have lightsaber combat. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, we talked about force field tech. It's going to be really long to get the force field tech in place. Although it kind of exists already, it's so energy demanding. We need new forms of energy production. Let's let's get fusion happening first before we start talking about lightsabers and force fields. We 
Let's make fusion first. We got we, we gotta make fusion first. Then we need um what do, what else do we need? We need antimatter and matter reactors. What else is there, sci-fi wise? Let me hook up these stream points and I'll be right there. Repel everyone around me, jeez. Oh, I have to cut something here. Look at that pew pew aim. Amazing pew pew aim. Do I climb up, maybe? Hey, Lady Spookums, welcome in. 20 stream chic, let's go. Replicators, ooh, yes. Replicators and transporters. <clears throat> I think they kind of have a similar basis technology. What am I meant to do here? Hook up the... Maybe there's something I have to do inside the building. That wasn't very obvious. Um, hmm. Connect beam, zoom. Where do I connect the beam to? Ah. Ah, yes, I know this stuff. This is very obvious stuff we're doing. Oh, I figured out the puzzle. Look at me using my big brain. I'm going to use the power of my brain. Look at that. It opens the door. Before stream tech. Must have been a mess of cables snaking around entire living rooms. I remember it well. Ah, yes, cables. Nice. Good times. Okay. Just gotta find the receiver point to Okay, so this transmits energy is way, basically what they're hinting towards. Um, this stuff transmits energy without the need for using cables. That is very futuristic. Go to Ryan. Hello. This is the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. Tesla. <laughs> running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller Cascade antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Okay, now you're just making up words. <sighs> Hop on. Techno babble for the win. Can I get in the car? Yeah, it is also how we transferred the energy. <gasps> oh my goodness, I went into her face. That was terrifying. Game? <laughs> uh, that is how we transferred the energy from the moon. So we were, they were doing uh, fusion reactions on the moon. And they were transmitting this energy wirelessly um, back to Earth. They have already tested a lot of that stuff. We did a bit of physics about that. They were uh, they were able to test it quite recently, actually, with a satellite. I'm still doing drinks after this. So it's Barrel on the way. The death last week for giving beer. Technologically, but Listen, again, funding, projects, all that good stuff. Let's we'll see how possible we can. Line with her bare hands. So Welcome back, Cora. Hello. Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? Oh, you must be really serious. Can I tag along? No. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, I'll just... No. Oh, no smuggling past security. I know that fine. Claire? You that Where's my robot, Maria's? by the way? Oh, he's sitting beside me. Aww. Look 
at the little robot. He's so cute. He's kind of falling asleep. Such a cutie patootie. Such a cutie patootie. Music is nice. Wait, are we on Earth or Mars? Are we? We're still Earth. Didn't seem to work anymore. We're still on Earth. It's kind of showing the chaotic state of Earth in the future. With the energy crisis. It seems that um, there's desertification happening as well. Although this is Colorado, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Colorado is kind of like a deserty um, place already. Yeah, the suspension is great. That's true. Good to know that the right. suspension it's engineering has improved. Is it? it is. Just let the grown-ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay, that was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still going to try anything dumb to get in. I won't. Hmm. More cake. <laughs> uh huh. All right, let's hop off. Oh wow, that was a big jump. Come with me, oh, Probius! Let's go find another way into Maria's office. Okay, Probius just teleported. That's called lying, Ayla. And how to discover okay. your channel. Welcome in, Erica. Thank you so much for thanking Gertie. Gertie gave 25 gift shops to the community. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. And stopping by and thinking. We had so many gift subs today. I really, really am thankful for that, guys. Just always a reminder. Oh, better jot that down. Wait, I was scanning, but... Oh! I have a, I have a database with me. Hey Xena, welcome in. Impressive hair product to keep that all in place after that ride. The WSA Glove. It's almost ironic that they painted it yellow gold as the planet became more desertified every day. Oh! Okay, I remember the game. There's nothing I can do about it. The generations before us already took it all for granted. So there is a desertification happening around the world generally. There is like really cool new methods um, of trying to slowing it down. I know that uh, a lot of countries in Africa have started to plant um, uh, plant bushes and uh, vegetation to slow it down. But it is actually quite a big problem lately in, his, in, in the world. Climate change and all that. No, not desert. Desert. Wrong word. I know you love dessert. <laughs> I saw that they're building a wall of trees. Exactly. Mm. Instead of trees, they tried to use bushes just because trees are very uh, hydro demanding. And obviously rain and water isn't too available. So bushes are a very good project. Yeah, Phantom, that's exactly. Strawberry rhubarb pie. The museum. I've had rhubarb yeah, pie. Yeah, cut through here to Maria's. Might be fun to have a look around too. Not been here in ages. Sorry, I got distracted. It's a museum. I like museums. No one has. <gasps> That's the moon! Oh, this is the first game! This is the map of the first game! Cool. Wow. In 2041, the lunar MPT dish helped diminish the planet's energy crisis by massively increasing energy yields. After the Great Blackout of 2054 and the instigation of Mission Fortuna, Rolf Robertson made his way to the moon base to restart the MPT, giving his life in the process. WSA really is trying their best to help our world with energy yeah. needs. Our character, spoilers, close your ears if you don't want spoilers for Deliver Us the Moon, the first game. Three, two, one. The poor dude, it was kind of spoilery there anyway, she said it, they said it, but uh, he did die in the end. It was very sad. Microwave power technology. Ah! Revolutionary form of energy absorption and distribution. The Lunar MPT, along with the 42 Earth-based MPT receivers, helped stop the growing energy crisis of the 2030s. MPTs. 
my jam. So that's how they were delivering the energy from Mars to Earth. Every day. You really saved this planet when you designed this. Ooh, look at her space shoot. Final frontier. Bit of a rover there. I was looking into, because I was obviously coming up with what to do for the talk today. Uh, for today's physics lesson. I was looking at the physics of spacesuits and uh, there was a lot of interesting stuff. I just couldn't delve too deep into it because surprisingly, shockingly, it's not public knowledge exactly how they control. Like, I know they need to control pressure. I know they need to control temperature. I know they need to control all these things in a space suit, in a, spa in a space suit. But NASA and the Soviet Union and everything else, they don't be revealing all their actual schematics, it turns out. I guess After it's not very, very public information how they do it. Claire Johansson, Maria Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the blackout's cause. Robertson, under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. Claire really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA. Oh, that's Claire. I didn't realize that that was Claire. Okay. Oh, I can scan something here. Rolf's spacesuit. Rolf's spacesuit from the moon. The journey this outfit has gone through. One can only dream of being part of such a legendary mission. It's a pretty cool spacesuit. Hey, Ryan Neil. That's true. A lot of a lot of uh, training and stuff like that with spacesuits is done underwater. After the success of Mission Fortuna, Claire Johansson spearheaded Mission Vestia to provide manpower to the lunar MPT and bring Rolf's body back home. Claire and her team discovered WSA software engineer Sarah Baker critically injured in cryosleep. Mm. Isaac Johansson. One of the three Lunar Council members and core outward instigators mm. took the last arc and escaped. That's the last time I saw Dad. I'm fine. Just remembering it always feels... Oh! Is her dad the one in the first game? The dude, the... The one with his kid. He kept talking about his daughter. Damn. <laughs> Devised by the Lunar Council members sometime before the Great Blackout, Project Outward saw the evacuation of nearly all moon base residents on board three large spacefaring vessels known as Arms. Let's take them on an interview the for Tofu Tech Talk. The council members, as well as the rest of the moon base crew, remains unknown. My dad designed and built most of the arts that they used. Like almost everything else here at the WSA. It was supposed to be an escape plan for the colony if something ever went wrong. Hey, give control. that door a try and see if we get lucky. Give that door a try. What door? Oh, that door. Interesting. I can be probious if I want to be. Well, worth a try. I don't know if I do, Phantom. Doesn't seem... Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> uh... Sorry. Easily amused. <clears throat> I They did that on purpose, didn't they? I think the devs did that on purpose. <laughs> They definitely did that. Yeah, I think so too, Nas. I think that was definitely done on purpose for sure. Hey, that could be me. What do you think? My hair is not down, so I suppose not. Looking good, sis. Oh, thanks. Gosh. I really need to change these. I like nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You? 
trying anything. Yeah, right. Totally. <laughs> I just, I meant that, like, Thanks. you never have to Come on, Alex. try. That's so awkward. I feel that. I feel that. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Are you headed to Maria's office? I literally have had this conversation before no with someone. Way. Oh, I'm just going the same way. When you try to yeah. compliment someone and you completely butcher it and you try hey, to correct yourself and it just gets worse. Exhibits on my way over here. That's good. How long were you actually stationed on the moon? I was on the space station, mostly. Oh, why are right. the uniforms Australian yeah, colors? Are they? The surface, I guess. They mm -hmm. aren't. I saw you. And oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rose's ASE. Yeah, the oh, rugby yeah, players were orange. I'm trying to remember if it is the color. No. ASE. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean, <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym. So I just kept calling it ACE and Rose would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Probius, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? He was named Alex, right? It's like an electron that can't be uh, in the same state wait, at the same time. Wait, you didn't answer my question yet. The hell? Uh, question? About how long you were stationed on the moon? I had too much Red Bull. The years with the forced cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting. Cat. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I. I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save she almost me. died, if I'm not mistaken. Just a summary uh, from the first game. I think this lady almost died. Uh, basically, her father, Claire's father, stabbed her or something like that. I'm trying to remember the whole kind of thing. Uh, but I think that's what happened. Your dad did not... Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but... What your dad and the Lunar Council did, they they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? No. No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. I made it this Basically, they took a bunch of energy and put it on the Ark, which would colonize another planet um, and allow humanity to survive in some other shape, way or form, because they didn't think they'd be guaranteed to survive on Earth. A bunch of people thought that Earth is pretty much dead and it's about time to abandon hope. At some point in our history, we might have to do that. We might have to abandon hope. What do you think, guys? Will we have to do that in the foreseeable future? Abandon hope, ye who enter here. Her dad did that? Is that the beginning of the game? So, uh, in the first game, her dad ended up, um, yeah, being kind of psychotic, is the way I would describe it. It's fine. You might as well just let no. me... No. Maria's gonna be on video. You no. Know. no. Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. <laughs> we'll survive somehow. <laughs> Isn't it about four to five billion years until our sun eats the earth? That's true. Six years. What? On the moon. But it was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks. I suppose it is awkward. Her dad tried to kill her and basically doomed humanity for the rest. Doomed all the humans on Earth. Well, I know I don't have the money or skills for a space trip. That's true. If they're going to garner all the people who are going to go onto worldly missions out there, um, I won't be making the list either. And, yeah. I think you have to be rich. I think rich is more important. It's not. But I think in this case, they might actually put all the rich people together rather than the... Educated. Or experienced people. 
Gotta fund the project somehow. I was trying to remember. I feel like this is a movie um, that we're talking about. Is that 20... 2012? Wasn't that a movie about it? Ah, I can laser this. Firing my lasers! Or we could have climbed over, but... Uh, Interstellar was not about the rich getting through, I think. Um, if I'm not mistaken. And I do love Interstellar. Interstellar had really good physics, actually. I do like the physics of Interstellar. What about sharks and lasers? I want a laser club. Get in line, spaz mob! Get in line, behind me. <laughs> and a hundred other people, probably. <laughs> Yes, and I think they build boats to survive on, Nas and, like, billionaires were, were, um... I think I messed up. Oh. Yeah, I think I messed up. And then there's, like, big boats to survive the apocalypse. Was the wave scene on the planet true to physics of the interstellar? Uh, yes, I believe so, but I think what's really cool is we actually did maths of Interstellar before. So, do you know if anyone here is a big fan of Hans Zimmer? Um, during the time they're on Miller's planet, they say that every tick of the metronome that's in the soundtrack is one day passing on Earth. And we actually did the calculation on Twitch stream, and I can tell you and confirm that it is true. There is some error, obviously, to it because we measured it literally by hearing it and stopping on a stopwatch. But it was actually quite true. That scene on Miller's Planet with the Hans Zimmer metronome audio playing in the background was perfectly in time with one day passing on Earth. So if you're ever interested in rewatching Interstellar again, an eye out for that. Parkour! Oh shoot, I should have said parkour sooner. How do I move? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, how? Oh, it's quite slow. So I have to do it quickly. Okay. Time to gear up my mechanical skills as a gamer. So whose physics has the worst? So which movie has the worst physics? I didn't watch it fully, but gravity wasn't that great, I thought. Um, I kind of gave up on gravity. I don't know if I really want to rewatch it again. Uh. But also, like, I don't sit and judge a movie just because it has terrible physics, if that makes sense. Um, I can enjoy movie just for the lulls, like, you know, um, what is it called? That apocalypse situation. With the meteor and all the miners going on it. That movie, for example. Contact was really good. I recently watched that. That was really cool. Yeah, Look Up was interesting. I, I thought I... Armageddon, that's the word. Armageddon. So Armageddon was good fun. Was there real physics in it? Was it a bit silly? Absolutely. But look, it's just... It's just a bit of fun. We have to accept that these kind of movies are just fun and... Uh, meant to be... Meant to be enjoyed. There's no need to sit and criticize. Um, physics of everything. Obviously, there's movies that are, are built on sound physics and didn't have the greatest ones. And that's maybe where I criticize, but other than that... Oh, I got confused. Wee! I'm a robot! Troops, the final frontier. These are the voyages of Robot Probius. Continuing mission to travel through all the vents. Hope I'm not going to get lost here now. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, here we go. We have motion sickness happening now. 
It has begun. Maybe I'm not meant to be here. I perhaps was supposed to listen on the conversation. Let me go back. I think I was just meant to listen on the conversation, but maybe I'm wrong. Whee! So it must be them. I can't believe it. They're on Mars? What? We have been for the last 13 years. Closer than any of us could have imagined. You okay? Can't imagine this must be easy to hear with everything. I'm fine. I'm fine. I assume we can find a justified mission opera then? Yes. Mission opera? Since we pulled Sarah and Kathy from the moon, we've been formulating a contingency plan. Should we discover Outward's location? Form a trine. A trine? Completely self-reliant settlement. Oh, so it's like a, a pre-hub. Is that what they're saying? That these arcs, spaceships basically, that launch from the moon, would land on Mars and they would create already pre-installed fabs um, so that you can live on Mars. Is that what they're saying, I think? Why reach out? Why now? Is it a distress signal or an invitation? Doesn't matter. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. Mm -hmm. We should analyze the distress mm -hmm. signal. Maybe we can determine the encryption used. We're working on it as Why bring them back home? In the back mm -hmm. See what you make of it. Ada, quick. Find a way inside that room. Yes, yes, ma'am. Got lost again. <laughs> Perfect. Ayla, stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot leave this room. Understood? Okay. What's wrong with Propheus? But it's not solving the energy, energy crisis. Is the least of our concerns right now. Oh? Rising CO2 levels are killing off a myriad of species of flora and fauna every week. The truth of the matter is that our home is becoming just as uninhabitable as any other planet. We need those arcs. Now, oh, so Claire, they need the... They basically need the colonization of Mars technology to literally be on Earth. Earth is becoming unbreathable and unsafe. They need that self-sustaining system just even on Earth to survive now. Damn. This mission. Assemble a team and bring those arcs back. You have a few months to prep. We cannot afford further delay. I understand. I'd like to start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Me. Yes. Me, 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 me. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 <laughs> she was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past 10 years? It doesn't change the fact that she aced nearly every exercise. Sometimes even. We have to school. go back. Hey, Fraser. I know you want to keep her out of this. She's the best MPT engineer we've got. And the best we engineer we've got! Let's go! And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. Kathy's the most talented individual the WSA is working for them. Apart from you two. And me, of course. 
we're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she... She has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors Why involved. Are you doing? Hey, hey, Maria. Can I come in, please? Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire. You know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you. The voice I'm acting has pretty been this. pretty good generally we in this can game. Do this. Plus, there's only like, what, three other trained astronauts to choose from? So. <laughs> I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. Good evening. Hello, priest. Welcome in. WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. Final say is mine. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Okay, Kathy. Even though Ryan's last argument was severely lacking. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. I'm okay. going to space! Space! Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. I'm going to, to space! I'm going to space! Oh, well, I am I'm a tofu and I'm going mm -hmm. to space. Yes. Hey! We calculated the of force of gravity between tofu and Mars earlier. It's finally happening, chat! The calculation will come true! Commander Tofu. What was that crackling with Moonbear, actually, I wonder? Didn't quite grasp that. A few months later. 69 AD. Oh my god. We will live through... Okay, maybe not all of us. I'm not going to assume anyone's age in the chat. But I, there is a good chance... Touch wood. That I would live to the year 2069. I didn't even think about that. That would be a great year. A great year, I tell you. Nice. <laughs> we shall reconvene at this point in time again. There's also a chance you'll get to be 69 for a whole year. I didn't even think about that. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Life is good. Life is good. Why do I need ice picks? Those are ice picks, right? I think they're... Not ice picks. Um... You all snug in there, Ayla? Oh, I look at the cute little robot. Magazine. Sleepy. <laughs> you diva. <laughs> if we make androids in the future, we do have to make sure they have personality and... Oh, shoot, that's the stab wound. Her father stabbed her. <clears throat> you look nervous. And that amuses you? No, no. Just seeing you, you. Oh my days! I forgot I even had a follower goal. Let's go. Thank you, everyone, for all the follows. Hey. I do have follower alerts turned off because uh, there's a lot of you following stomach. today. Is that what your dad gave her? Yeah. Why? Just curious. We have new goals in life. Exactly. Knock knock. You ready? Let's go. Yeah. Those are some slick looking suits. I really do love the SpaceX suits. Have you guys seen the astronauts with the SpaceX suits? They look very, very slick. I like it. I like it. They look really, really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of things they have to do. Uh, pressure, radiation, and uh, temperature are kind of the things you have to be very mindful. Because depending on the spacewalk and like depending... Um, the position you are in outer space, you could be facing the sun and you could be 
ridiculous amount. I can't, I don't even know what number it's like. Can't even imagine what Celsius it is. But way, way, way above anything on Earth. And also, you could be way, way, way below, depending on the position of space. Welcome everyone who joined in. <laughs> Um, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'm going to make a cup of tea and have a little bit of chocolate. Um, maybe have a Red Bull. Should I have a Red Bull? Obviously, when I say Red Bull, I'm talking about knockoff Red Bull. The temperature difference in the sun versus that is crazy. Yeah, I we did a calculation like that in physics before. It was, um, yeah, the. I think I could do that. I could do that. We could do that calculation sometime on in our physics section. So if anyone's following or lurking, I usually teach physics in the beginning of the stream and then I play video games. So for like the first three hours of the stream, we did physics and we've just been playing for this for the past almost hour or so. Uh, but I do need a break. Welcome, welcome in. I just burnt my tongue. My tea's too hot. Turns out when you ask... GC, we're heading to the rocket now. The computer to make you Earl Grey tea hot. It's hot. The Good. lies. Slept like a baby. Of course you did. You didn't? Yeah. Sure. How about you two? Good. Yeah, fine. Good. 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 I really do like the space suits. They're so cool. Do I go first? Uh, do I sit down? Video game? Oh, I have a corner seat. Hey, okay, Silver. We're going to space. Gonna go to Mars. I'm gonna have so much fun in Mars. Here we go. No turning back. Hey, I really appreciate that, Steve. Thank you so much for the sub as well. I'm sorry you hey, missed you know the physics lesson about? earlier today. What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. Yep. They weren't so lucky. Right. Wow, they really don't seem to want us to go. No. Why not? But considering the amount of time. Oh! <gasps> you okay? Holy schmooks. Yeah, just a bit startled. Why don't they want us to leave? Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. You saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space. Oh, I see. You'd be angry too. I mean, we do have they those kind understand. of debates and arguments to this day, right? When we bring a lot of people are protesting a lot of the funding that NASA gets and other space missions and other big projects like the Hydrogen Collider. For example, a lot of particle physicists are so excited and asking for even a larger Hydrogen Collider or a, lar a larger collider in general to do more physics. Um, but the price of that is going up as well, and it's super, super expensive. So, yeah, there is a lot of people backlashing and arguing against it. Um, so that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Back. They will. Oh, they won't. I mean, they might, and I hope they do, but they're promising something that might not happen, even if we do bring back the arms. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. That's the way I choose to view it. Alexander Pope. The soul uneasy and confined from home dreams of a life to come. Look at you knowing your poetry. I was gonna say. <laughs> what can I say? I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. Take a look at this view. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Never seen That's pretty cool. Time. Wow. It's a shame we couldn't build her properly. What? Hmm? With all these shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You could have mentioned this in all these months of prep that we're flying economy class? No, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before taking off. Seemed only fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. 
If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine. We're going to die. Oh my god, the rocket is already here. Have any of you guys seen um, the Jeff Bezos rocket? I'm not going to say and show it on stream because we're on the front page exactly on Tutorial. And there is TOS I cannot break. But if you want to do this in your spare time, you're more than welcome to Google the Jeff Bezos rocket. Yeah. Yeah. Also, my boss, so I'm not saying anything negatively. Just very interesting shape. That's all I would say. It's the Austin Powers Dr. Evil rocket. <gasps> oh, look at this. Oh, oh that's kind of cool seeing this. Adventure game? Um, yeah, I guess that's the way I would describe it, Shin. I guess it's an again, adventure story game. There's a bit of puzzle solving and stuff like that. How high it really is until... Yeah. And all of that just for the booster. Just to get it up. So exciting. So excited. I just can't hide it. Oh, look at the discs. That's the um the discs I think that were catching the energy from the moon from the nuclear fusion reactors. Really cool. Grim, don't make me repeat myself. Fair hacks, fair. I won't judge you. I won't judge you on that. We go. We're going to Mars, people! I hope you're excited. <gasps> Wait, I have to actually go to Mars? Wait a second. <gasps> you put me in charge. Copy GC. Opera team comms check. Go. 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 Cat, systems check. Oxygen. Oh, uh... Oxygen is go. Flight? Uh... Flight is go. Oh, this is Navigation. easy! Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer. Ground Look at this! I could be an go. astronaut! Fuel? I know how to press these buttons! Let's go! Fuel is go. Liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen is go. Power? Power is go. Launch sequence functions. Levers and switches. We do love levers here. Launch sequence functions are go. Propeller they couldn't have check. done them linearly, no? Good to go. Ryan, airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. It's not rocket science. Wait a second. Seal and air composition are go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. To lift a few goods. Yes. Conditioning is a go. The amount of fuel needed for Cat. a rocket to Strong actually launch. Track is immense. We were talking about it that, you know, we do need to utilize the first. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. We need to utilize Newton's first law as much as we can when we get to outer space. Strong back successfully retracted. Sarah, bent off line. Uh... Vent off lines. Lines are vented. We are go. Oh, that's not me. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, retract orbiter access arm. Nobody panic. I know what I'm doing. I think. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? I have... I tried to play it occasionally arm is retracted. Um, on Fridays for physics fun Fridays.
Oh. Oh. Look at this. This is so easy. I could totally be a rocket scientist, lads. And who said rocket scientists were smart, hmm? If I can do it, we all can. I would like to highlight and put a disclaimer that that was a joke. Just in case anyone comes at me, that was a joke. Sorry, where was I? Whee! What do I want it at? Wait, did they tell me what they wanted it at? I have no idea. Oh, wait, I have to go in. Never mind, I have to go back. Beanie cap retracted. Opera team. They, these down. things just fly themselves, yeah. exactly. Oh, close visor. Ah, uh, press this button. Nice. Transfer complete. I One pressed the button. Bongo. Oh shoot, it's solid fuel. Burn up systems are a go. Gap, initiate solid fuel from the start. Are we here to are we go for launch? I think so. Solid fuel thrusters are a go. Copy, thrusters up. We are going for launch. Here we go. Engage. Oh, seven chat. Major top to ground control. Hope everything's okay. Are we moving? This is a hoax. We're not even moving, guys. In the name of Tofu Kind, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> great, great emote there, Emon. Or a combination of emotes. Oh, oh, a little bit of uh, heat of particles happening here. We need to get the escape velocity. nerve-wracking. A little Max bit scary. Max Q? Oh, I guess this is us feeling the G. I'm so scared. Oh. Uh, second stage up. Engage. Go. I would feel like it would be automatic instead of manual. IRL. But of course this technology is in the future. There's- Oh look! Is that a moon bear? Wait, what? Are you guys seeing that? Ooh. This is so cool. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's, um, thrusters. It's realigning. I think that's a thruster realigning. I would assume that's what it is. Hope I don't have to do anything. <gasps> Cutting off, second 
I thought you were in the ocean. Uh, cut off the engine. Yes, ma'am. How do I do this again? And it's away. Precious. So, thanks so much for your prime. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Sure it's not a liquid oxygen leak? Please don't scare me. Please, please. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I think those are just thrusters. All good, all good. I was a bit alarmed when I first saw the bubbles. Hey, Photo Prime, welcome in. It, it looks really pretty. Cruise mode successfully initiated. Ah, so we're on cruise mode. Well, my last yacht trip wasn't like this. Should demand a refund. Thanks a million for the Prime. Are we doing a trip to Mars in real time? How long is that going to take, Kregel? I think they say usually two years with modern setup. Wait, um, Musk said something earlier. I think it's six months now, depending on stuff. Here we go, Opera Team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. A week stop. Prepare <laughs> philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or only like five a day. They are making a new one called "Deliver Us Home." That's right. Want to see something cool? Just a little bit, Dave. Not much. <laughs> Maybe are they skateboards? You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already About nine months, they reckon, at the oh, moment. wow. Old school, huh? You look excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. <laughs> I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment, sorry. <laughs> Just look. A bottle of whiskey? This is really pretty. Very pretty earth. Oh, it looks like a shuttle. I know it doesn't, it isn't, but it kind of looks like a shuttle. Wait, maybe it is a shuttle. Doesn't that look like a shuttle to you guys? It's a fear. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kath? Huge glass windows, yeah. <laughs> I saw my house! Very pretty. I could never go to space, even Sarah just in outer orbit. Was... I'll head back to the cockpit. Even if there was millions yeah. and petrillions dollars on the line and someone asked me for just for the lols to go up, I wouldn't do it. I'm too terrified. Oh, look at all the... Oh, did you guys say, see all the space debris in orbit? Maybe it was satellites, but it looked like space debris in orbit. That was really cool. We recently... We studied about space debris recently. Well, then this hopefully will be a nice surprise. Follow me, remember. Lads, I think games should have a warning if you do any swimming, underwater swimming. Like... Okay, at least this game isn't so bad. Um, I can see the bed of the ocean, which isn't too bad. It doesn't look like bubblegum at all. Yeah, Starlink debris is really crazy. Very overwhelming. Need a tour of space station. That is a thing already, right? What do you think? Is everyone in the chat ready to go to outer space if you get a chance? No way. I'd never throw anything in the water. 
Right, yeah, well, I mean, not you, but a lot of other people do. Unfortunately. Okay, now. So the water can make nice again. Well, we uh, might be about 50 to 80 years too late for that. Me, Tom Gunner. Okay. I'd go. You're all the way. No, I'm so terrified. <laughs> that scared me. I don't know. Like you said, space is scary. You that too, yeah. Right? So I kind of talk about this, why the underwater scene kind of made me uncomfortable, is I think I have thalassophobia. I'm not sure. And the reason why I say I'm not sure is because I'm also, f uh, I've had this panic when I play video games or in dreams. This is such a horror of a dream. Is when I'm, an ex I'm exposed or floating in three-dimensional empty space. I get really stressed out in three-dimensional space. So if, yeah. It's one thing to orientate myself on the X, Y axis. If I have the Z axis to worry about as well, I get, I don't know. There's something about it that makes me uncomfortable. Obviously with the thalassophobia, you're terrified of some big sea creature that comes in from below. But that scene wasn't too bad anyway, because um, I, got, I got to see the seabed. If you can see the seabed, it's not so scary. Meet me here? Sure. Oh. Beep. Okay, here we go with the three-dimensional space. Oh, they see me rolling. Which one is roll again? Is that the yaw? What's beeping? Wait, what's my goal here? What was that? Me clearing the cockpit. Oh, I thought I had to press a button. Never mind. I'm here. I'm coming. I think I'm upside down. I vaguely feel like I'm upside down. Yep. I need eyes on to determine the damage. I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. Damage? The first to get hit. Probably. Could oh, you keep no. an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no. Let me do it. Look, I need real life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular observation training score. No, it's fine. I think it was 94. 94? Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. <laughs> Best you monitor the diagnostics. Fine. Just be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Debris. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll guide you on. Course. I say debris. What do you guys say? Very similar, I suppose, but... There's a bit of a oomph on which letter you say it. Space crap. Ah! Look, free floating in space is not my forte. Use your thrusters to correct and quickly double check the latch of your left nozzle controller. Left. I've double checked it, Claire. Left. I'm fine. I don't think you really double checked. Claire, I've got this. No! Am I go- Oh no 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 Here we go! <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Yeah. So what's all this from anyway? Okay, focus. Just don't look down. Just don't look down. Just don't look down. Oh god, this is nauseating. Oh, this is tough. Wow, that is really, really sickly. Oh, there it is. There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. Is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? No. Nope. It's seen better days, but it's holding together. <sighs> Just don't look anywhere. Yeah, this is quite um nauseating. No, it's making me a bit nauseous. Not gonna lie. And... They're pretty badly bent. Okay. They'll need to cut 
way if we want the thruster to be semi-functional. Is the thruster still receiving power? Thruster receiving power? Yeah. It is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's okay. a button in the hatch, just press it and you're good to go. Okay. And watch out for the fuel canisters. If you hit one of those while you're coupling it. Well, <laughs> I'm no rocket scientist, but it might be broken. Yeah. Do you see them? Yellow canisters? Oh, I see them. Yeah. I see them. Don't worry. So don't light those Very up. Careful. Very careful. Light them up, up, up. Light them up, up, up. Turn the power off and begin the debris removal. Oh, <laughs> the game was like, you are upside down. The Pearson Space Station. But not when I was that young. What do you mean? Well, never mind. Wait, what am I supposed to cut? Oh, here we go. I found it. Anybody you fancy back home? Oh! Wait, what? Or maybe even on the ship. What? Ryan? Or, or Sarah, I don't care. Apparently not. Least of all that they're married. You can still have feelings. Just don't look down. Everything's fine if we just don't look down, team. Can't even concentrate on the conversation. No. Oh, my days. properly enough. I'm so confused what I'm supposed to do. Nice. Ah, I'm supposed to cut that away first. I see. All right, all right, we're getting there. Space shark. I really want to look down. I am really focusing on not looking down. That's my primary objective here. I cannot e express enough how uncomfortable this is, and I'm so sorry I'm not ch too chatty right now on stream. You guys just give me like 10 minutes just to do this as calmly as possible. I appreciate that. Whew, I did not expect this in this game. This did not happen in the first game. Okay. Everything's fine. We should have a heart monitor on stream. Maybe I have to- <gasps> Do I have to go in the thruster? Oh Jesus. Oh no. 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 <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh God. This is just an accident waiting to happen. Blech. Just don't look at the fact that this is a thruster. It's fine! Everything's gonna be fine! Why are you guys so worried? Every little thing is gonna be alright. So don't worry. Alright. Yeah. Okay, is that it? There's a hole in my ship. But other than that... I think I get that one from the outside. Right. Oh god, that's so uncomfortable. Nice! Right. It's, it's done. done, let's go! Good job. Turn the power back on and I'll run a diagnostic. On it. Ooh. We did it, team! And I only was very very slightly uncomfortable with the whole thing. Hi Tofu, hi chat, hello Lana, welcome in. Oh. Oh, 
What in the world? Hey, I did it! <laughs> this game is like... <laughs> I am concerned that... You know, in reality, if I made the incorrect button combination or whatever, it's probably not a good thing. Yes, Claire. <laughs> Where's inside? Hey, let me get back in. Let me get back in. Let me get back in. Whew. We're almost there, team. I almost did it. What's on the other side? There's another game where I did a spacewalk. It's called Observation. And that was... Uh, quite nauseating as well doing a spacewalk in that. Oh, is this it? I thought that was glass. Okay. Whew. I feel a little bit better now. I feel a little bit better. Cheers. Listen, I'm no space scientist, but this doesn't look like space anymore. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Oh, you guys are fans of Observation. Well, if you guys stick around, we might raid over to someone today who's playing it. What's that? Ah! Subnautica has been due another installment. I can't wait for Subnautica. I'm so looking forward to Subnautica. And there's supposed rumors that there's going to be multiplayer too. Am I meant to go in here? Well, look, if, if, if I'm here, clearly I'm allowed to go in, right? <gasps> I thought those waves were like a, a bug, you know, a visual bug. I remember asking this, why it's called a cockpit. Do you guys remember the lore behind it? Crunk! Where are you? Wrong lever! Why do we even have that lever? Wait, where am I? This isn't the... Is this the space station? Or the space? Hi, Probius. It's Moon Bear. I really need his cuddly warmth now and then. Claire wouldn't like knowing that I brought Moon Bear, seeing as it was probably a reminder of the person who gave it to me. Better keep it safe in my locker. No pants in the pit. Interesting. Interesting. For a small boat. Ah. I see. Thank you for being educational, Hacks. See? If it's not me educating you guys in the stream, it's Hacks. Listen to Hacks. Oh, I love yellow notepads. Look, sorry for getting distracted. D distracted. But, personally, I prefer yellow notepads over the white notepads. It really, I don't know, it kind of retains my attention a little bit better. Watch this. Are these cryo? Tor torpor pause. After spending six, six years in one of these uh, back on the moon, I remember how weird it feels to wake up after so long. That very specific kind of torpor sleep in these pods really messes with your head. I never quite know if I'm dreaming or not. So they're kind of like cryo sleep, I think? Warning. Low temperature. What am 
am I actually meant to do? Start routine procedure checkup. Oh, right, I have a job to do. I forgot, I'm a real astronaut in space! Oh my god, it's Mars! I think. We made it to Mars, team! High five! We made it! We made it out alive! I think. Hopefully. Crossing fingers, we make it out alive. What now? Closer? Same thruster. How bad is it? Bad, sis. One broken thruster can send us completely off course. I'll sit up. Let me do it. I'm already out of torpor. No, it's much too dangerous. Claire, we have to act fast. I'm going. No! Be careful. I'll head to the cockpit to guide you. Copy. Not again! I just did a spacewalk. Are you serious? This game. This game. I just did a spacewalk. <laughs> Pretty sure that's just a big tangerine. Hi, Transparent. Welcome in. Okay, after watching so much Star Trek the last, like, year, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better with this. Still makes me uncomfortable? Okay, I spoke too soon. Never mind. Actually, it kind of helps if I look at chat most of the time. Sis, I don't think we can salvage this thruster. Oh no. Look at the side of that thruster. You'll have to cut it away. Are you sure? In this state, it's a bigger liability if it stays attached to the ship. Ooh, the thrusters aren't even though. That's gonna be tough. Turn the power off before you do. Oh, that's not where the power is. Is it on the other side? Where's the power? Oh, there is the power panel. What? Crash right into it. Claire, I can't turn the power off from here. Okay. You need to cut the power cable connected to the thruster. You can't miss it. Uh. Done. Power is off. Right. Now the tricky part. The need to amputate the thruster. Oh, don't remind me of Frostpunk. I have such an addi addiction to Frostpunk. It's so, so much fun. But on Friday, my plan with the stream is... Um, oh, shoot. We have to be careful not to touch that. My plan is, even if we finish Deliver Us Mars too quickly, I think I'll play Unni instead. Oxygen not included. Oh, I'm getting confused which way is sideways. Yeah, so if there's any oxygen not included fans in the chat, we'll be playing that. And hopefully I'll upload a YouTube video. <gasps> I have to be careful not to shoot that. That thing is, um, what's the word? Explosive. Go. No. Hey, this is fun. No. No. Hopefully, I'll do a physics of oxygen not included as well. Yeah, it's a big bada boom, so we have to be careful of the big bada boom. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know how I feel about having such big battle booms so close to the things that I need to laser off. I feel like there's a design flaw here that I should criticize. <gasps> what? No, no, I can't watch this. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh, this is my fear. This is literally my worst nightmare. 
This is my worst nightmare come true. was very uncomfortable that was that is literally a thing from my nightmares there's two nightmares i've always had as a kid being lost like that in outer space underwater stuff all that good stuff but also a t-rex eating me anyone else have nightmares of t-rexes eating them because that was a consistent nightmare as a kid Ooh. Mmm, from gravity, yeah. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you so much for the follows. I do have the sound alerts off, I apologize. But I really do appreciate all the, all the follows. The forest feels denser now, compared to a few years ago, at least. <sighs> That's impossible, unfortunately. I know. That's why I said feels. <laughs> and it still looks beautiful. It used to look even more beautiful. And it can become more beautiful again someday. There you go. Epic name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like my name. Is this Mars? I think this is Earth. This is Earth. E U A K. I just I haven't been here in a while, that's all. You look sad. No, no, I'm fine. I'm glad we get to spend some time together Aww. before you have to leave. We're almost there. Okay. Keep walking. Come on. Let's go. And yes, Asterion is my dad, in case anyone's wondering. That is the voice actor. He's my daddy. Mm hmm Looks nothing like him. <laughs> dad, are you gonna finish this story? Right, yeah, um, where was I? Ah, right, okay, so, so her mum was visiting one of her friends at a frat party that night. What's a frat party? I was about to say, why did you say the word frat party for a, in front of a kid? Uh, well, it, it, it's like a birthday party, but instead of presents, <laughs> people just uh, <laughs> drink. Oh my days. stupid. Yeah. It was. I never liked going to those either. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad I did go to this one. Your mum saw me staring at her so much that she finally came up and asked me why I wasn't dancing. Why weren't you? Well, you, you've seen me dance. <laughs> I told her that getting me to dance was a bad idea, and well, um, I, I was proven right. What happened? I hit her drink out of her hands as I was flailing about like a lunatic. Then a piece of the broken glass got lodged in her leg. <gasps> then there was blood everywhere, and then we had to go to the emergency room. Oh, Jesus, Dad. Needless to say, I didn't dance wow. again until our wedding day. Wow. But, Dad, why did Mummy fall in love with you then? I really have no idea, darling. Why did mommy fall in love with you? Listen, listen. There's a lot worse ways that you could... Whoa. Cool, right? Um, ...have a first date. But that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Who made it? It is. It is yeah. blue. Now this is all still here. Uh, Claire and I used to come climbing here all the time. His voice is so recognisable. Well, you were a bit too young for that. Still are. Okay, Moonbear, come and get your gear. Uh, oh, yeah. <gasps> oh! Checks to commence mission. <laughs> oh, uh, my foot. So, this is like the climbing wall at home. This seems really this dangerous to be giving a kid. Looking claw things at uh, Leopard. If you make it to the top of the cork wall, you are one step closer to the moon. Dad? Yeah. Are there a lot of walls to climb on the moon? Um, no. <laughs> uh, but, but to get to the moon, you need a badge. 
are just like your scouting badges, basically. We need a badge. Why do I need a climbing badge? Well, well, it's a badge that on our journey to the moon, were we to make an emergency landing, we needed to climb our way up, you could, and then you'd find your way home. Can something go wrong with the rocket? No, 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 they're, they're perfectly well built. Isn't that right, Claire? We're completely safe, Kathy. I promise. All right. The animation on her looked a little Why bit awkward in that moment. <laughs> Go on over. Go. Ooh, caves in the moon. I haven't heard about that. Just slam in each pickaxe as hard as you can, one after the other. Ah, this is actually hard. Moon Bear, you're doing it. Oh, I did it! I made it. Look at me go! Amazing, Moon Bear. I'm amazing. We're going to the moon, excited! Yay! <laughs> okay, carefully climb down now. Okay, Moon Bear. Climb down. Oh, do I want to do? Ten in a row. Let's go, doors in. And if one of the mods could redeem the, uh, give back the channel points. I'm not doing the redeems today. I've turned off most redeems. Didn't realize that redeem was still up. Apologies about that. I should have taken it off. Just for today, all the redeems are off. Are off. How do I climb down? Uh-oh. Tim? Listen, this is such a philosophy in life. How do I climb? Oh, I think I know how. I'm supposed to climb up first. Or not. Hmm? Do I have to climb all the way up? Hey Zanar, welcome in. Listen. I think... I know she's a child, so obviously there's less weight. But there's something unnatural about the way she wall climbs. Oh? Same WMO reports that I do. You watch the same news. You, you know what? Oh, I mean. cool hacks. Please, just come with us. Don't, don't you? Come on, Claire. It is grim, yeah. I hate you for what you're doing. I hate you. <sighs> I'd like to say that we normally have hobbits. That's true, Evandriel. With all the hype dreams that you caused yes yet today, we would have had a few Isengard hobbits there. moments. Taking the hobbits to Isengard. Hello. Yeah. No, we didn't. We, no, we didn't. Why doesn't Claire want to go with us? Yes. Um. Uh, what's his name? Um. It was. What's his name's birthday yesterday? Jesus. Thor's birthday yesterday, and they got a level sixty-six high train, wasn't it? Yeah, that was insane. I watched his chat. And his chat was just like moving so quickly with all the donos and gifts. Of. It was it was insane. Don't worry. Change your mind. 
and we'll be together. Yep. Level 30 on the ferret rescue channel too. <laughs> A big rest before your exams. Well, if I add up all my hype train levels together, I totally beat everyone, right? Isn't that how it works, guys? <clears throat> the scaling on hype trains, lul. And they call it a mine. A, a mine. mine! An anonymous gifter. Thank you, Preserve, for the hundred bits, and thank you, Anonymous, for the gifts. I really appreciate it. It is an anonymous sub. Have you been watching me sleep? Yes. That's kind of creepy, Seth. <laughs> yeah, why are you watching me sleep? That is creepy. Oh, what happened to me? I was in outer space. And uh, I was... The, the thruster... Um, I yeeted just, me. I just brought that for comfort. Uh, what do you expect to find on Mars, Kat? Nothing. I understand what you're thinking. I think. But sometimes what we want isn't... It's always difficult to do the right thing. And I really believe I've always meant well. Isaac. She doesn't even call him dad. dad. She calls him Isaac. Dad always meant well. I just need you to understand he was not always good at doing the right thing. Right. Well, at least he always tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's but... all that matters, right? Right? He always looked out for us. He couldn't help what happened. Yeah, you're right. It's not weird for me to want to find him, is it? Sister. This is my sister. I need to know that when we get there, you'll make the right decisions. <laughs> hey Zane. Cat, I said I'd do what's best for the mission. So far I'm doing just that. Right? <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not that talented, Transparent. He can't voice everyone. Oh, here I go. I set a challenge now. There'll be some game where he voices everyone and everything. Effect. Because what's in front of us will amaze, shock, and possibly delight you. <laughs> what? I know Outward's the bad guy, but you can't deny how impressive it is what they built. True. Okay. You just shouldn't glorify them, that's all. Okay. Well, that might have put a bit of a damper on this, but... Opera team, I give you... Arc Lavos. Did you look at that? Oh, I th seen solar panels like these. Thought Looks they, like they combine standard PV oh. panels with a sort of CSP layering over it. Excuse you. It appears these panels first concentrate the solar rays to optimization before they hit the photovoltaic semiconductors. The increase to efficiency is exponential. How could they be so far ahead of us? And why does it look abandoned? Let's find out. Sarah. Another Ryan, mystery. Dun 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 dun. Science okay. words. Yeah. It's just techno babble. It's all good, trans. I'm doing the all good. Yes, you're staying aboard the Zephyr with me. Now please start the procedure. All right, Ryan and Sarah, prepare to board. Supervise the procedure on this terminal. Okay. Kathy, CMG and pit controls are released and available for manual control. On it. Waypoint zero to two are calculated and defined. Waypoint two assigned to auto lock abort function. Final go, no go pilot waypoint two. All right, Kathy, take us in. All right, here we go. To infinity. Move, okay, move up and down. Wait, where am I going? Oh! I know what I'm doing now. Waypoint one reached. Commence maneuver to waypoint two. 
Oh, I'm docking. Oh, this is stressful. Who gave me permission to dock? This is terrible. That's a terrible idea. Clown, welcome in. I'm panicking, Tofu. I'm panicking for the both of us, Reserve. Hard capture now also complete. Docking Save the sound. Yeah, that's true. Um, we had a channel point redeem session, and uh, you guys redeemed a community challenge. And now I am forced to play a horror stream on Saturday. We'll be playing one full horror stream from start to end on Saturday. So I will be turning on spooky sound alerts and you can spam all the spooky sound alerts to your heart's content. Great job, Kathy. Thank you. Thanks. Ryan, Sarah, you have permission to enter the ship. Permission was assumed. We're already crossing as we speak. Copy. I'll reprimand you later for insubordination. I shall accept my sentence with dignity. Sis, I can join them to investigate. We only need one person. That's not necessary. It's not necessary for me to stay here either. Kathy, please respect my command. Oh, my sister. I am your commander. I am Claire. your commander. You must listen to me, chat. The interior is huge. It felt like a maze. We could be here a while. Copy, Sarah. Kathy's heading over now. Stand up. It's mine! I know. These are the voyages. Oh wait, am I supposed to go here? Yes. Oh, the Starship Zenner. Horror stream fun. I'm sure you guys are gonna be so excited for me to stream the horror stream. To stream the horror stream. That's great English, Tofu. Ooh, red room. Copy that. Hey, beautiful. Oh my god, the way I moved scared me. Hi! Hello, cutie patootie. This isn't scary at all. Oh, why is the music so creepy? Is it this quiet everywhere inside the ship? From what I've seen so far, yeah. This reeks of intent rather than accident. What do you think, guys? Is the plot? Is there like, a, was there a riot? Maybe hmm. not a riot, but what's the word? Mutiny. All colonists wear the same outfit. Gives a bit of culty vibes. But on the other hand, it does create a sort of equality and togetherness that I kind of get. Wearing a uniform gives culty vibes? I didn't know that. Chat, the next time you go to work, if anyone in the chat has to wear a uniform going to work, make that argument that it gives culty vibes. We shouldn't do that. The only cults you're allowed to join are those on Twitch stream. Those Twitch streamers that have, you know. Probius, you scared me. Anybody home? I don't mean to alarm you, but you guys are free floating in space right now. I hope you know that. If they're Star Trek universe, <laughs> Star Trek uniforms, vote that we don't wear the red uniform then. We all have to draw straws at who gets to wear the red uniform. I am so lost. I hope I'm going the right direction. This is what I mean when I say I'm very confused when there's up Whoa. down. Bailey, are you seeing this? I've never seen so many cryopods in one place before. Wait, I was saying something. <gasps> Some of them are open. 
Oh, this gives Horizon vibes a little bit. A hologram. Here. How are you even finding this data? Are you keeping secrets from me, Ayla? <laughs> well, let's take a look. Event Horizon vibes, that's what I was saying. Yes, this gives Event Horizon vibes. Hope it's not that scary though. Are they getting out or getting into the cryo pads? I wonder. I really don't need three people to help me. I'm not that old. Wait, Rosa? You can let go of me. That's one of the three women. Do anything. Sorry, Miss Laverde, but Director MacArthur was clear. Our warriors, welcome to a new dawn. Oh God, this is so Horizon Zero Dawn. We stand on the edge of greatness. We are the culmination of thousands of years of technological progress. Earth is a lost cause. There's no coming back from the damage we inflicted upon her. But now. We have a chance to correct humanity's course. A future without conflict, without division, uncorrupted by weakness or doubt. We have the tools, the minds, and the bodies to create a sustainable utopia. A place for you, your future children and grandchildren. With my five-year plan, we will build a solid foundation for our good together. The only reason I laugh at the five-year plan because that's a standard um, like interview question and also a standard researcher question like postdocs and stuff like that. They'll ask, what's your five-year plan? So I just kind of laugh at them. <laughs> Listen, when I say I have a five-year plan, that's not what I mean as a scientist, okay? Listen, I'm not planning on taking over the world. I'm not planning on getting a cult. Don't judge me, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. What about Arxida? Don't we need all three arcs for this to work? The loss of Arc Vita. It was a Stalin thing as well, that's true. If we remain strong and work hard to compensate. But for this to succeed, we must be unified. If we do not work together, we will fail. If we challenge and fight one another, we will fail. In this monumental endeavor, we are only as strong as our weakest link. So, people of Outwood, we stand on the precipice. Join me, and together we will build something better. Gather your belongings and prepare to transfer to Ark Habitas for our descent to <gasps> Mars. So we they did to land Mars. to Mars. Was that stunt truly necessary? What were you hoping to achieve by diverting the ship? Rosa, I don't want to force you to cooperate, but- Tell that to the fine men you got escorting me. I'm sorry it came to this, but we need you. Outward needs you. Your medical expertise is crucial to the colony. Everyone's lives depend on it. I will do my best. Thank you. I'm not doing it for you, William. Whoa. Okay, so they've landed on Mars, I guess. Rosa and the others. Ayla, if they made it to the surface, they could be with Dad right now. Ayla, where'd you go? Ayla, I'll log these to my asteroid oh, myself. Oh, there you go. So go ahead and strike them from your backups, okay? We'll let the others know, Lee. Oh. 
Sorry, 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 sorry. I misclicked. Rosa and the others. Ayla, if they made it to the surface, they could be with Dad right now. Why are some Ayla, of them I'll red? I'll my Astro tool myself. So go ahead and strike them from your backups, okay? I'll we'll see let the others know later. After we find Dad. That's cool, they're replay- Yeah, so you have the option of replaying the dialogue if you need to, to be fair. Are you following me? Is this the way I came? I feel like this is the way I came. I'm so confused. I think this is the way I came. Let me go back out. Stop following me. <laughs> Probius, stop it! No, you're following me! <laughs> Who's following who? Oh, I lose my men my inertia quite quickly. Surprised. Oh. I'll get that down. Potentia. This technology is so much more advanced than ours. The people at Outward really were Earth's best and brightest. I wonder how much progress we would have if we put, like, the best and brightest thousand people in one room. What could they achieve? What? The best solar panels we've produced in the past 20 years can't even reach 40. Damn. Ooh. So why isn't it functional? Well, that's the weird part. It is functional. It just seems they turn it off. Strange. Oh, look! This is Boston Dynamics! <laughs> I don't know why, but the color and the setup kind of made me think about it. Oh, it's treadmills! We go jogging. Very little, probably. They spent all their time debating. You think so? I do know a few physicists who are argumentative, but, uh... Maybe you're right. Most physicists I know are so, uh, supportive, you know? Building on ideas and stuff. Carb protein slab. That doesn't sound very tasty. In fact, I would actively say that that is quite gross. It looks like you're eating a stick of butter. Mars Man issue number one, Marooned, written by Conrad. Oh, I think we read these ones in the first book, in the first game. Similar teams are always nearly more productive than our, that's true, smaller teams are better than one big team. The astronaut departs from the moon, his destination, Mars. His goal, to join the favored ones and enter a brighter future. But when the astronaut's ship gets hit by an asteroid, our hero gets stuck in deep slumber. As his damaged vessel orbits the red planet for centuries, hidden and unknown, the astronaut remains asleep until... Ah! Oh, what a spoiler! Sorry, what a cliffhanger! I've got to make a note of this. Poop. I wanted to know what would happen after... Years of sleep in orbit. I'm so bored up here. The ship practically does everything by itself. Didn't you just start your rotation? Don't remind me. Three whole months with this guy still to go before the shuttle in the replacements. Oh, I had a word with Tahini earlier. Oh yeah? What did she say? Thought we were doing that tomorrow at the weird place thing. Hello? Sorry, security goon hovered me over and I had to pretend to be working. They've been cracking down hard on slacking here lately. I should be taking notes for my lab rats so you guys don't get too comfortable. You know? I don't think she's into you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think she's into you. Chin up. I'll let you know how bad the play is. My cheer you up? Thanks, man. Better write that down. Read your f first astro talk. Oh, that was my first astro talk. Whee! Whee! 
of minus four growths. Panels look class. The door to the bridge is locked, but I think I can open it with a stream point. Ah, yes. Stream point. I know how to use these. I'm very, very smart. I press F and I point my laser. Firing my lasers! down. I think this will help if I... I don't know which way is up and down halfway through this game. It's hard, okay? Oh, am I going the opposite way? I think I am. Hmm. Stop. Sick. It's tough. It's tough. I, I admit, it's not the easiest. Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to be quick about this. So I open this, let it open. Open down or... Oh, come on! Video game, you knew I got it. I should be able to connect this through the glass. Should be able to connect this through the glass? Connect what? Through the glass? <gasps> oh! Oh! Wait! She mean... Okay, okay. A little bit of a puzzle. A little bit of a puzzle. But what if I connect this here? Connect this here. Ha ha! You thought a little puzzle could stop me. Oh, okay. This is confusing. I don't know how to get down. <laughs> oh, the controls are hard. <laughs> Probius is just staring at me. He's like, sideways as well. I'm through. Great job, Kathy. Yeah, now, press onto the bridge. The bridge? Is that where we find Captain Kirk, Picard, Janeway, and everyone else? Although, all three captains can't be present at the same time. I know, trans. I'm just getting so confused which way is up. Hello, welcome in, Ego. Welcome, welcome. What a shock. Captain to the bridge! Here's the coils. <laughs> the floating stuff reminds me. If you guys ever watched um, any astronauts coming to do talks and education stuff or like an interview, um, they'll be explaining something in outer space and it's so funny to see them sitting and they'll drop the pen when they're explaining something and then continue doing it and then realize, you know, gravity is a thing that it, it pulled their... Um, then I pulled their pen down to the ground and they just completely forgot because they were so used to it. I enjoy watching those videos though, it's so funny. Wow. Claire, I'm in the bridge and the entire room is filled with pieces of debris. You sound almost happy. Well, to be honest, the chaos looks very... pretty. Can you determine what caused it? It's a Holograms. frost. Or is dust? That all is. Let's have a look around. I feel like Probius kind of stole my name. 
<laughs> Sorry, I call him Probius because it's from Heroes of the Storm and from StarCraft. Um, if anyone is a is a Blizzard fan in the chat, maybe you guys recognize him. He just kind of looks like Probius, doesn't he? Come on, chat. Isn't that Probius? This is a short Is that good? It's Weedly for- Oh! <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, from uh, from Portal Two. Also from Portal. I'll I'll accept that answer. Yeah, I can interact with it. I'm starting to feel a bit dizzy. I would like to walk on my own two feet now. I very much appreciate gravity a lot more than I did before. Can I please have gravity back? The emergency security doors have been activated here. That means the area behind that door had a hull breach. Oh. So is this ship deserted because the crew got sucked into space? Oh. It's plausible. Perhaps it was an accident after all. Whatever happened behind those closed doors is the answer. An answer we can't get to. No. Afraid not. What's the status of the bridge's main terminal? Go back to the main terminal? Hmm. I assume this is the main terminal? Oh! Look at me figuring things out. Looks like I need to fix the MPT converters before I can turn the arc's power back on. Output metrics show the same. The MPT dish isn't receiving any of the energy from the batteries. This ship's operating system is really locked tight. But I think this should open up a door behind you, right? Now. Kathy, finding a way to restore the arc's power is top priority. I'm on it. Makes me wonder what kind of funny stuff the astronauts do home when forgetting gravity is a thing. I, I've said it before, but my thing that plays in my head is the astronaut who was uh, one of, on one of the earlier moon landings as he was jumping around in low gravity on the moon, hopping around and going hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. Hey, welcome in, Lexi. Whoa. Who's that aimed at? Is that a... There is a way to manually fix the connection to the MPT. Laser beam? This is a death laser. It's never just a flip of a switch, is it? The design is almost intentionally obtuse, as it requires someone here to monitor, someone down there to activate them. That was safe, maybe? Kathy, you need to connect them in a specific order. Ryan, what safety margins are we working with? Specific order? There's a puzzle? Okay. I will. Everybody on high alert. Final go, no go call. Go. 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 Okay. Kathy, good luck. Oh, okay. There's an order to them, I guess. Can I move this somehow? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's try something anyway. Oh, the controls are awkward on mouse and keyboard as always. Where's number one? Where's my number one? Number one, go with me. Thanks. Hey Derp, welcome in. I'm guessing I have to laser number two next. My question is, how do I... Oh. Oh. How do I get in there? How does one get in there? That is a good question. I'd love to know the answer. No, that one wasn't the right one. But does it open this?
I need to get in there though. How does how does one get in there? Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh shoot, I better turn that off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. where we can for now. Up is available. Can I get around maybe somehow? There's no left. Maybe I can walk around, you know? Maybe there's access on the other side somehow. I think not. I'm just back on the bridge. Back on the bridge! Maybe I can turn this. What do we think? Guess not. All right. I don't know what else to do. I don't seem to have access to anything else. So we'll just laser the other one for argument's sake. Maybe it's not in order after all. Let me double check. What else can cool. I do? Hmm. Hi, Odyssey. Welcome in. So I assume the problem is that I have to laser these in order, right? So number two should be next. Oh, this upside down stuff is so confusing. But this door is not open. How do I open this door? Just breathe in and squeeze through. I'd love to. <gasps> oh no! Probius can't get through either. I was I was so excited. I thought Probius could get through. Damn. How do I Let's see? Alright, I will take some back backseating suggestions in the chat. What do you guys think I need to do here? Suggestions are welcome. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Sorry, having a bit of fun. I think there's another passage. There is another passage, you think? All right, let's try it. Let's try it. This is the only passage available that's open right now. This is leads me back to the bridge. Oh, not a spacewalk. No, 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 no. That'll do more than just clear my head. This is closed. I don't have access to this. This is the entrance that I had earlier. So I think Zir is the order I'm supposed to laser them. That's what I think the significance of the socket is.
Oh, okay. That's a dead end? Well, that wasn't very useful. I just, uh, ran into a dead end. And that will clear her life. Ah, yes! You know the method of clearing your sinuses? Go for a spacewalk. I, too, enjoy clearing my sinuses by going out for a spacewalk. Very productive stuff. Very productive. Hmm. Go back! I'm so sorry, but those words mean nothing. Go back where? Get some fresh air. Yeah, I don't think I'm meant to be on the bridge. Um, it doesn't seem like that's what I'm meant to do. We have to go back. Exactly. Exactly. You scared me! Okay, let's try this again. So, we have a room, and we have clearly doors that need to laser this thing open. There's lasers available here, I can peek through. We should probably have lasers here as well, and lasers here. But the doors aren't opening, and I'm not sure how to open the doors. Maybe there's a button here. Oh! <gasps> no, that's not. I got excited there. Is there a button here? Oh, there's a button! Ah! We found a button! Easy. Easy clap. We did it, team! Uh oh. The breach really did a number on this. Ah! Oh! What if you go? laser that. Is there anything else I can do here? Inspector gadget do 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 hmm Is there anything else I can do in this room? That seems weird that I can't interact with anything. Hey Tofu Welcome in Bronca how are you doing today? I died. Hmm. Anything here? Nope. This panel? Alright, do you see maybe a tunnel or a hole I can get into, lads? Maybe that's the solution. So we're kind of stuck again. I'm not sure about this moment of the game. This doesn't seem very obvious to me what I'm meant to do. What if I turn off the power? Maybe maybe that's what it's what it's doing. Guys, be careful with the power. Did that do anything? Okay, that did nothing. I can't remember at all. Yeah. It's not easy, this game. 
mechanically like what to do in solving these puzzles. Hmm. Oh. What if I like purposely short circuit it or something? Okay, that has nothing to do with it. I'm not sure. All right, back seating allowed again. I'm stuck. Why is this game getting me stuck? Go closer with Kathy, and the game will give you a hint. Really? Are you serious? Okay. I tried doing that earlier and nothing hap- You know what? You know what? I'm not gonna say anything. But I tried doing it earlier and it didn't work! This game is evil. It just wants me to look bad. Not so dangerous now. I feel like I was taking damage earlier as well. I have to get close, but not too close. damage there I think there we go let's go solving world problems or space station problems one laser at a time It's really tough to aim the laser at number three. E Idiot. Okay. Mm, okay. We have a hole. I think we can go through that hole. What do we think? There is a hole in me ship, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in me ship, dear Liza. A hole. Thanks Amelia for all the follows by the way. Guys, so sorry. I can't say thank you to all of them today. Looks good from here. Great. Okay. Uh where is my little rat here? Nice! <coughs> zoom zoom zoom. We're just solving the puzzle! Okay. Let's go. Spudge. Ah, there we go. Found it. So we have three lasers now aiming at everything. We need four and five next. Please get out of the way, Provius. I don't want to hurt you. All right. Four and five. Cool. Woohoo! This is amazing! Amazing! We're so smart, guys. So smart. I totally didn't get help, help in backseating from chat. I think six is next. What's after five? What comes after five? I'm not sure. 
Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages. That one looks good. Starship Thanks. Enterprise. It's continuing mission. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Explore strange new worlds. Seek out new life that and new good. civilization. To boldly go! On the front page. And below. <laughs> Twelve is after five. Ah. I made a mistake, my bad. MB. Woohoo! I did it! I think that did it. With no backseating at all. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Where is that? Which way do we go now? I feel like I shouldn't be under the stream of direct energy, but what do I know, right? Activate the arc. Oh, from the bridge. Okay, the bridge is this way. Let's go! Captain on the bridge! Oh wait, where's the button? First time for every time, yeah! So again, we're constantly having new people come in. Obviously with the front page that I mentioned there. Um, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tofu. I do science and technology education in the beginning of the stream. I teach a little bit of physics. Uh, so we did like three hours of physics today before we started playing games. And then we play a little bit of games. So our theme today was Mars. We did a bunch of physics calculations about Mars before playing this game called Deliver Us Mars. I know. Shocking. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Opera team, Arc Labos is fully functional. Cool. One down, two to go. Let's check the Maybe it's non-ionizing. Fair, but still, like energy is energy. It can be still quite scary. Microwave, microwaves are also not ionizing, and yet I personally wouldn't be sticking my hand into a microwave. But you do you. Actually, don't do that. Obviously, the door is locked and there's safety stuff, but don't do that. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. I was talking about microwaves. Too late. <laughs> Looking forward to the physics. <laughs> Hopefully you catch it. So I started in the beginning of my stream. Uh, but now we, we treat ourselves with video games after we do physics lessons. Claire, the MPT is fully operational again. I'm going to re-establish the connection to the surf. No! What? No, Kathy. We don't know what we'll find down there. You start the MPT connections and we broadcast our presence to anyone on the surface. Isn't that our goal? Roger that. Wasn't that our mission? Hmm. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. Nice, nice. Welcome in gaming. Ooh. Just looking at that angle, that that angle is obviously the shots that they do with all the SpaceX launches, if anyone's like a SpaceX nerd um, and loves watching the launches. But what's really cool as well is these are uh, like um, directing shots as well that are really popular in movies like Interstellar, um, which is uh, really, really exciting. Two seconds. Sorry for interrupting. Um, I just wanted coffee on the stove so that I could have a cup of coffee uh, before we continue streaming. Like Astrum and Anton and such. I always love more. Uh, well, I could advertise myself, Matt, as the YouTube to check out. I have like YouTube videos. Years is far too short a time to live among such excellent and admirable hobbits. <laughs> Thank you so much for sir for 20 gifts some. Like, really appreciate it. Like half, half as well as you deserve. Thank you so much for giving out 20 gifts subs. Holy smokes. Really really appreciate it. Thank you. And if anyone got the tofu gift subs, I hope you spam 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 loads of emotes. Loads of emotes today. <laughs> really appreciate that. Thank you so much. We spam, we type this stream. 
Oh yeah, I, I won't read that out. I almost failed. Thank you so much for Zerp for 20 gift subs. Excuse <coughs> me. I'm okay. My nose got really excited with all those gift subs. Thank you so much for Zerp. Really appreciate it, but you almost give so much already. <laughs> Thank you, Fizzerp. Our new friends new needs new gift subs. That's true. We need friends. We and need our new friends to have gift subs. Optimized. Preparing for EDL. T minus two minutes to cruise stage separation. Everybody copy? Copy. 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 <gasps> We're landing on Mars? I'm sorry for being so protective. All right. Nom, nom, nom. I hope you guys are what, comfortable. What I mean is, I see how much you've grown. I know I can trust you. Thank you for serving. Thanks, Commander. Moment of truth, Opera Team. If the orbit burn doesn't function, we all know what to do. Moment of Start truth. And burn. We're re entry. Well, it's not re entry, it's entry. <gasps> oh boy. We are losing three axis stabilization. Nominal velocity changes. Propulsive efficiency completely tanked. Unable to correct. What about tertiary thrusters? Gone. Momentum. Nobody panic. Everything's fine. Mass explosion won't I am a scientist. Control. Understood. Theoretically. <laughs> Opera team, abandon ship. What? Brian, Sarah, to cargo in the pods. Kathy and I will try one last maneuver. Cat, do you copy? No, I want to go to the escape pods too. Cat, copy. No, I want to go to the escape pods. Can what? No, this game is not fair. I want to live. Let me live. I choose life. Kathy, we need to keep the ship stable and okay. ready to drop. Okay. Okay. Okay, I have no idea what you said. I'm just gonna move some buttons until things light up. Light em up, 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 light em up, 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 light em up, 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 I'm on fire! Ready to start diagnostic, okay. Uh, oh. Ten, twenty-five degrees, oh. I suppose that's about 10 degrees. What? Oh! It has the number on it. I didn't read. 25. Ah, what do all these buttons do? I think I know what I'm doing, but... Last one, last one. We're almost there, team. Trust me, I will save you lab rats. This is not an experiment. This is a drill. Uh-oh. I can? Oh, I can. Sorry, I was drinking water. buttons and hoping for the best ah that sounds like my phd anyways oh i'm gonna lose my sister this is how this is how we die oh ow rude We got here. We made a team. Warning. Escape pod two. Auto lockdown. 
We make it up as we go along. She's not gonna make it, is she, lads? I've watched enough movies and TV shows to know where this is going. <gasps> That shouldn't have happened. That's not a good thing to happen. I'm no judge though. I wash my hands clean of the situation. Uh -oh. oh look, Maris is pretty. Look at this thing. It looks round. I think I'm gonna call it ground. I hope it's gonna be friends with me. Emergency problems. Oh! I was supposed to press buttons. Oh, damn! I didn't know I was supposed to press buttons. I could have died! I could have died! I didn't know I had to press buttons. Oh no. What else? Is there anything else I'm meant to press? Oh! That could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse, for sure. For sure. Not bad, not bad. Time to go full dead space. I mean, uh, what's it called? A doom was set on Mars, right? Doom 3? Ooh, that, that doesn't look good. <gasps> oh no, not Probius! I hope he made it! Not even a hair out of place. She's glued her fringe down. That's what she did. <laughs> Do 
Are we supposed to go? <laughs> wrong movie, wrong movie. <laughs> Oh, look at Probius! He's stuck! <laughs> Such a cutie patootie. Go get him. Yeah, perfect. Enjoy your mac and cheese. I should go downstairs and grab coffee as well. It's been on the stove for a while. But I wanted to finish the session. This cutscene. <laughs> So I haven't taken a break in a long time. So I'm just gonna run downstairs, grab my coffee. I'm gonna have a small cup of coffee. I know it's really late. I'm just grabbing a small coffee. And then we're gonna continue famous. I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes.